Hi everyone, my name is Karen and welcome back to my channel. In this new video that I should have like filmed a week ago but the first week back in university was a bit stressful and I didn't really have the time and motivation to like film a video and today was a special occasion because it was like the first time I ever went back into a bookstore to get and see books. <laughs> I haven't been in a bookstore like a year ago maybe? Yeah, so I didn't really buy a book since a year ago. So today I bought three new books that I'm not gonna show you right now because I want to show you bit by bit um, the first book that I got is a part of a series and it's the third book the third and last book of it and that series is Renegade and Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer and the book well the third the first book that i got is the third book in that series and that is supernova to be honest i was like quite shocked that i found it today when i saw supernova i immediately told myself this is the book that i need to get because i always wanted to have the entire series before continuing to read it to read it because i read renegades this year but i did not pick up arch enemies directly after finishing it i told one of the excuses was the fact that i needed supernova to continue it and now that i have it maybe i will i will not read the synopsis of uh, supernova because obvious reasons it's the third book so spoilers for the first two but i will read the synopsis written on the first book secret identities extraordinary powers she wants vengeance he wants justice the renegades are a syndicate syndicate of prodigies humans with extraordinary abilities who emerged from the ruins of a crumbled society and established peace and order where chaos reigned as champions of justice they remain a symbol of hope and courage to everyone except the villains they once overthrew nova was, has a reason to hate the renegades she is on a mission for vengeance as she gets closer to her target she meets adrian a renegade boy who believes in justice and in nova but nova's allegiance is to the villains who have the power to end them both i have read renegades and i quite enjoyed the story but it did not like captivate me and pushed me to read them all and now maybe having the entire series will push me towards reading the last two books at least they're in the same edition i have a tiny one but yeah i was super excited when i found it and now i have the complete set so here's to hoping i'll read it all but i think i will but soon for the second book that I got today, it was one of Rick Riordan Presents books and it's Dragon Pearl by Yu Ha Lee. Yoon Ha Lee. Dragon Pearl, it's from the Rick Riordan Presents, as I just said, and it's the third uh, Rick Riordan Presents books that I have alongside the Storm Runner and Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. This one, it's quite a short book. I expected it to be bigger. Anyway, um, this book, as in all the Rick Riordan Presents, it's about a different type of mythology. In this one, it's about Korean mythology, if I'm correct. And uh, because I don't really know what it what's in this book, I'm just going to read the synopsis in the back. I'll give you my impression of this book while after reading the synopsis, if I'm going to like it and enjoy it or not. 
13-year-old Min comes from a long line of fox spirits, but you'd never know it by looking at her. To keep the family safe, Min's mother insists that none of them use any fox magic, such as charm or shapeshifting. They must appear human at all times. Min would like nothing more than to escape Jinju, her neglected, dust-ridden, and impoverished planet. She's counting the days until she can follow her older brother, Jun, into the space forces and see more of the thousand worlds. When word arrives that Jun is Jun John is suspected of leaving his pit post to go in search of the dragon pearl, Min knows that something is wrong. She decides to run away to find him and clear his name. Min's quest will have her meeting gamblers, pirates, vengeful, vengeful ghosts. It will involve deception, lies, and sabotage. She will be forced to use more fox magic than ever before and to rely on all of her cleverness and bravery. The outcome may not be what she hoped, but it has the potential to exceed her wildest dreams. This space opera with underpinning of pinings of Korean mythology will transport you to a world far beyond your imagination. Not gonna lie, I wanted to pick up this book because um, I'm really enjoying like Korean um, art and like TV shows and mostly tv shows i don't really listen to korean music but maybe i'll give it a shot someday and i always i'm really enjoying the required and presents books that i read and reading so i decided that picking this one up would be really interesting and it's a short and easy book i enjoyed the synopsis and from what i've read i think i'm gonna enjoy it because as i've said before i really enjoy some good mythology and it's a middle grade so yeah i enjoy having some middle grade moments and i hope i'll enjoy this one as well as for the final book that i got today and it's kingdom of back by mary lou Mary Lou, I know her by name. I have yet to read one of her books. I have two books on my shelves. It's Warcross and Wildcard. But Kingdom of Back is her newest release. It was released in 2020. And it's about Mozart's sister. That's what I know till now. But uh, it's about her own story. How she... As it says here, to be remembered in this world, she created another. So I guess her other world, it's the kingdom of back. I don't really know. I'm going to read the synopsis and I'll tell you my thoughts after reading it. Two siblings, two brilliant talents, but only one Mozart. Born with a gift for music, Nanner, Nannerl. Mozart has just one wish, to be remembered forever, but even as she delights audiences with her masterful playing, she has little hope she'll ever become the acclaimed composer she longed to be. She is a young woman in 18th century Europe, and that means composing is forbidden to her. She will perform only until she reaches a marriageable age, her tyrannical father has made that much clear, as Danerl's hope grows dimmer with each passing year, the talents of her beloved younger brother Wolfgang only seem to shine brighter. Her, his brilliance begins begins to eclipse her one or her, eclipse her own until one day a mysterious stranger from a magical land appears with an irresistible offer. He has the power to make her wish come true, but his help may cost her everything. In her first work of historical fiction, the number one New York Times bestselling author Mary Lou spins a lush, lyrically told story of music, magic, and the unbreakable bond between the brother and sister. 
So yeah, I didn't really know that it was her first work of historical fiction. So I'm kind of excited. And uh, the cover is really beautiful. As you can see, there's a big tree with... Uh, I saw before there was like um, notes, clé de sol. There's a necklace, seashells, arrows moons i think oh there's clocks i don't really know flowers and everything um i'm really excited to read about like the side of history that we don't really know like if you say mozart you don't really think of his sister you think of Wolfgang. but um it sounds really interesting and i've heard about it a bit on uh, booktube so I hope it's a good one and I I hope if I'm gonna read this I'm gonna like her writing style I'm gonna like Mary Lou's writing style and like read the other books that I have of her on my shelves. So that's it. I only got three books but it's really good. Yeah, I'm really excited about those three books that I got and i can't wait to read them this one will not be soon enough it's a big bad it's a big book it has like 550 pages but the other ones are quite small so i hope you enjoyed my tiny tiny haul and uh, if you have read any of those books uh please let me know in the comments down below to see and tell me why you like them and if they are worth it and which one I should read first. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you did please hit the like button. And if you want to see more content from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button and even hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I post new videos. Until then, bye everyone!